For today's lesson, we will be discussing about composition of functions. So first, let's recall how do we evaluate functions. So as what we know, we evaluate functions by substituting the given input into the function and then simplifying it. So again, when we evaluate, there should be a value for the input and then we use this value and substitute it to the function and simplify. Now what is composition of functions? The composition of two functions, f of x and g of x, is denoted by f circle g of x. This composition is defined as f of g of x. So as you can see here, we have two functions, f of x and g of x. Now when you say composition of functions, that means we're using one of the functions as the input of the other function. So in this case, we have f of g of x that means g of x will be the input of the function f of x so that means g of x the function g of x will be the input that we will use and we will substitute it to f of x and then we will simplify so that is how you do composition of functions again in composition of functions one of the functions must be used as the input of the other function. Now, we read this as f composed of g of x or f of g of x. Or we can also read it as f circle g of x. But most commonly used pronunciation is f of g of x. Now, let's try some examples. Let's say we have f of x, which is 2x minus 1, and g of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now, we have to find f circle g of x, or f of g of x. Now, how will you know which among the two functions will serve as the input? So, you just have to look at the given. So, we have here f circle g of x, meaning the second function mentioned will be our input. So, since we have here g, that means g of x is our input. That means we will be substituting the function g of x to the given function f of x. So, let's have here f of g of x. Again, the input that we will use is the function g of x and we will substitute it to f of x. So, we have here... 2. Now, the x variable in our f of x, we will replace it with our input, which is a g of x, or x squared plus 3x minus 1. So, we will substitute. So, this will become 2 times the g of x, since this is x. So, we have to replace it. So, x squared plus 3x minus 1, then minus 1. And then, all you have to do now is to simplify. So, equals, then 2 times x squared, so that is 2x squared, 2 times 3x, so that is 6x, and then 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2. And then, we have negative 1 here. Then, let's simplify. So, we have here 2x squared. And then plus 6x, so you just have to combine similar terms. Negative 2 minus 1 will give us negative 3. So that means this is now f of g of x. So in doing composition of functions again, you identify which one is the input and you will use it to evaluate the other function. So again, f of g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 6x minus 3. Another example, what is g circle f of x if f of x equals x squared minus x minus 3 and g of x equals 5x minus 2? So again, we have here f of x and g of x. So we have to identify which will be our input. So again, to identify the input, it is the second function mentioned. So here we have f. So that means f of x is our input. And we will use this function f of x to evaluate 
g of x which is 5x minus 2. So again, all we have to do is to replace all the variable x and g of x with f of x. So let's write here g of f of x is equal to then we have g of x which is 5x minus 2 so we will just replace all the variable x from g of x with f of x which is x squared minus x minus 3 so we have 5 times x squared minus x minus 3 then minus 2 again just simplify this 5 times x squared is 5x squared 5 times negative x is negative 5x. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Then we have minus 2. Simplify this. 5x squared minus 5x. And then negative 15 minus 2 is negative 17. So this is now g of f of x. So again, we use f of x to evaluate the function g of x. So this is our final answer. Next, let's have find f of g of negative 2. Given f of x is 3x minus 4 and g of x equals x cubed minus 1. Okay, so as you can see here, it still involves composition of functions because of this. But this time, we have the value which is negative 2. So that means, after we do composition of functions, we still have to evaluate our answer with the given value of x which is negative 2. Okay, again, we still have to do composition of functions, but at the end, we have to evaluate our answer with negative 2 which is the given value of x so let's identify now which is our input so looking at the given here f circle g so that means g is our input so g of x again is our input so we will use this to evaluate the function f of x that means we will replace all the variable x in f of x with the terms of g of x so we have now f of g of x equals, then we have 3 times, so x here we replace it with g of x, which is x cubed minus 1, then minus 4. So simplify this, we have 3x cubed minus 3 minus 4. If we simplify this even more, we have 3x cubed minus 7. So this is now f of g of x. So after evaluating the function with the given input, let's now evaluate it with the value of x given, which is negative 2. So we have f of g of negative 2. So that means we're evaluating now the the function that we obtained after we do composition of functions with negative 2. So we have 3 times negative 2 cubed minus 7. So this is 3 times negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Then minus 7. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. Then minus 7. Therefore, final answer is negative 31. So we have negative 31 as our answer. Again, if there's a given value of x given, you have to do composition of functions first and then evaluate the given value at the answer obtained. For our last example, let's have f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals 4x squared minus 1. Now we have to find g of f of 3 or g circle f of 3. So here, we still have the value of x given, which is 3. So that means later on, after we do composition of functions, we have to evaluate. So let's identify first the input. So looking at the given, we know that f of x is our input. And then now let's have g of f of x. So let's evaluate g of x with 
f of x. So g of x is 4, then x squared. So we will replace x with f of x. So that is 2x minus 1 squared. And then we have minus 1. So before you multiply to 4, since the quantity is raised to 2, so you have to simplify that one first. So we have 4 times. Now since this is a binomial and the binomial is squared, so we're going to do a square of binomials. So you can just simply square the first term. So we have 4x squared. For the middle term, you have to multiply the two terms in our binomial and then you multiply it again to 2. So that is 2x times negative 1, that is negative 2x. Then you multiply it to 2, negative 2x times 2 is negative 4x. And then for our last term, you just have to square the last term of the binomial. So negative 1 squared is positive 1. So that is how you square a binomial. You square the first term. For the middle term, you get the product of the two terms of the binomial and then you multiply it to 2. And then for the last term, just square the last term. And then we have here minus 1. Then distribute 4 to the trinomial. So 4 times 4x squared is 16x squared. 4 times negative 4x, that is negative 16x. 4 times 1 is 4. And then minus 1. Then simplify this. 16x squared minus 16x. Now 4 minus 1, this will give us 3, positive 3. So this is now our g of f of x. Now after that, we still have to evaluate it with 3. So let's have here g of f of 3. So we have 16, replace x with 3. So 3 squared minus 16 times 3 plus 3. So this is 16 times 9 minus 48, then plus 3. 16 times 9 is 144 minus 48 plus 3. Simplify this, therefore, final answer is 99. So that is our answer given that f of x is 2x minus 1, g of x is 4x squared minus 1, and the value of x is 3. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about how to do composition of functions as well as if there is a given value of x. And see you next time.